Well, the beginning was, if I may just step back and tell you the beginnings of how this all happened. Uh, She came to me, uh, Kathy and Jimmy came with her, and they talked about what it is they thought would be a good theater experience. And basically it was to tell her story, parts of her stories that she wanted to incorporate and weave together as a play, and that she would perform it as a one-person show. I took it to Lincoln Center Theater at that point, because they do beautiful work, and the one-person concept was something that they have often done, like a Monday, Sunday night combination. We thought, great. And they were so welcoming, and they loved it. And and together, Andre Bishop and I came up with the idea that Emily Mann would be a wonderful person to write it, and they have a strong dramaturgical staff, and that's how we began. And we did it. The, The play became, you know, evolved, and we did a reading of it. And Gloria was very happy that we had done it, but she was not certain that it was something she really wanted to do, after all, herself. But we said, no problem. There are many actors who can do this. We're not giving up this project. It's too magnificent. And as it happened, Diane Paulus came into our mix then as this remarkable visionary director that she is. And the play became a proper play. It was no longer a one-person storytelling evening. It was a proper play. At that point, um, we decided that we would do better, you know, in a theater off-Broadway, perhaps, that we could expand it, that we could run a proper eight-performance week. And so we were grateful for everything Lincoln Center did to get it birthed, so to speak. And then Gloria agreed that it would be a play that she would be very much a part of, but not in. And I think that is the best thing that could have happened. 